Yo, what is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the Dot OS 3.0 on the Redmi Note 5 Pro based on Android Pie and this ROM feels amazing. Well, these are my first impressions by the way and the stock launcher over here is the quick step launcher and we have the Google Now cards to the left. You can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel and as you can see the quick settings panel looks kind of different. Yes, you can change these and like the style of the quick toggles i'll show that to you later on and of course if you go into the settings you will find this gestures option and you will have this double tap gesture settings so that you can like set the double tap to sleep or flashlight or toggle google search so these are pretty cool options so you can just double tap on the home screen to make the phone sleep let me just unlock the phone and as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty decent too let me just show you the fingerprint scanner speed again So as you can see it's not too slow not too fast it's pretty good again so over here the rom feels literally super duper smooth let me just go into the settings and show you and if you notice the settings panel over here the settings panel looks a lot different from the stock android pie and this looks pretty cool and more advanced in my opinion here it shows the like bold settings and bigger settings icon and here it shows your like profile name of on the phone and here it shows your picture if you have a picture on your profile and if you go into the about phone and over here let's go to android version and as you can see we have the droid on time or dot os logo on top and we have the android version over here as you can see android pie we are running over here and dot os version 3.0 official security patch is of february 5th 2019 and here is the stock kernel version which is the pure caf plus kernel inside system if you go into advanced you will find this developer settings and stuff and we do have a system updater which looks like this looks pretty cool in my opinion so no new updates available right now whenever a new update comes it will be showing up over there and if you go into the gestures we do have the android pies like swipe up home button and the icons the phone and messages icon as you can see looks up bit different over here in my opinion it looks pretty cool and you can just go all the way up from the home button to get the app drawer and if you just swipe up once it will get to like it will get you to the recent panel so that's how it is let me just go back we have a lot of customizations but some customizations which are missing over here are like you can't really swipe on the status bar kind like this so that you can adjust the brightness that feature is not here and one more like really amazing thing which I'm noticing over here is the battery life. The battery life over here is insane. And as you can see, we have the like this kind of like amazing looking battery logo over here. It says discharging and shows your battery percentage in the middle. And I would say the battery life for me like have been pretty great. You can definitely get eight to nine hours of screen on time depending on your usage. So the battery life, I have zero complaints in this ROM. If you want a great battery life Android Pie ROM, you can just right away flash the ROM. And let me just go into the dot extras here. The customizations panel looks like this. So let me go into the status bar. So inside status bar, we have the misc extras. So over here, we have the status bar like double tap to sleep and 4G icon or Vault icon is there. Roaming indicator is there. And we have the wake up on charge. I disabled it. Let me go back and you, if you go all the way, like if you tap on this back icon, it will like go back to the settings. So if you want to go back from these kind of stuff, like if you are in here, just tap on you over here and just tap on go back. So that's how it works. And inside battery style, we have the like portrait dotted circle, etc. No big dotted circle as of now. Next to the icon percentage is working super fine. As you can see from this corner, let me just change it to dotted circle. And as you can see, it worked. Let me go back inside battery bar. We have the normal battery bar stuff. Clock settings, we can change the clock font size over here. If you notice this kind of top left corner. So you can change the clock font size from here. And even you can change these like date style and stuff or like whatever you want. You can even change the clock font color or even the clock font style. So these many options are there. Google Sense and stuff are there. So if you wanna like set it those, you can set like these kind of stuff. We have the traffic indicator, the like network traffic indicator. And from status bar items, we get the headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons. So let me go back. All right, so I did that mistake again. Inside nav bar, we have the normal navigation bar stuff. You can set this nav bar to be the smart bar or fling. And you can even adjust the height. 
and you can even configure the nav bar and pulse settings are there so if you want to see the visualization when you are playing music on the nav bar yes this feature is there let me go back let's go back from here let's go to quick settings so from here we have the quick settings panel opacity control and brightness slider option is there and brightness slider on bottom option is there if you want the brightness slider to be on the bottom yes this feature works and vibrate on toggle touch is there and some more things and if you go into the recents you will have this recent style option so that you can customize the recent style to be pi or audio kind of style these features are there now inside lock screen if you go into the lock screen ui you will find the lock screen charging info yes it works double tap to skip on the lock screen is there you can change the lock screen clock and date font style too and face auto unlock is there and it is working super fine you don't need to worry you have to flash micro g apps minimum by the way and over here we have the always use fingerprint scanner option so you have to enable this fingerprint unlock so that whenever you reboot it does not ask you a pin so you can just unlock with your fingerprint scanner all the time and over here we have the temperature stuff like the celsius or fahrenheit so let me show you the lock screen quickly so here is how the lock screen looks like but it does not show me the weather kind of so that's how it is it says align the dots this is the stock wallpaper by the way let me go back we have the lock screen tuner so that you can customize the lock screen like shortcuts from here let's go to system over here we can have this buttons option so that you can enable the advanced reboot anywhere like let me show you here is how it looks like and if you go into advanced reboot you will have the recovery and fast boot like rebooting option let me go back we have the playback control volume key cursor control and these kind of stuff are present and inside general fix we have the swipe to take screenshot so that you can just swipe like this to take a screenshot but it does show the touches like the gestures over here like this and toast app icon is there and battery light or the notification LED customization is there so let me just go back from here these are all the customizations present over here inside the normal customizations panel and if you go into display settings and go to advanced you will find more stuff like from here you have the double tap to wake option and allow system themes and fonts alongside with substratum so if you are a substratum user this rom is like gonna be a great choice for you because this rom does support substratum i can see from here i don't use it so i'm not saying much stuff about substratum and over here we have the ui style option from here you can change the ui style to light dark black or dot os neo ui style and you can change the like accent colors from here as you can see and from here you can change the quick setting toggle styles so these are the options i have selected this one so this one looks pretty cool to me but you can change the quick settings panel toggle styles so these toggle styles like you can change pretty much however you want nightlight and stuff does work super fine over here and if you go into the sound settings let's go to advanced you can disable the screenshot taking sound and stuff so that's not annoying over here but we do not get any kind of me sound enhancer or the audio detect kind of thing of course we do have this equalizer over here this kind of like equalizer we have it but i did not see any kind of difference with this equalizer like in my opinion it simply does not work kind of because whenever you turn on and like change these kind of stuff equalizer simply is not working for me so that's how it is that's how i feel it does not make any changes to your music so it would have been better if they provided the like the me audio direct so that's how i feel let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this and by the way google pay and stuff works right away in this rom you don't need to worry and of course we do get this dot wallpaper app so that you can change these like wallpapers as you can see we have some dot waste wallpapers over here hashtag draw it on time feels pretty good like huge thanks to the developer for like making this kind of amazing rom for the redmi note 5 pro and the rom feels a lot stable and like super smooth over here in my opinion and we have some calculator app and stuff like by default over here so these options are there and by the way this is the stock wallpaper again let me open up some apps and show you guys so as you can see the app open up speeds are pretty fine i do not have any huge complaints regarding it the app open ups are working super cool and by the way vaulty works on both the sims over here you don't need to worry about vaulty and of course we do have the call recording option too so no issues whatsoever regarding the vaulty or call recording and as you can see all the apps are in memory and this is the 4gb variant of the redmi note 5 pro so i have no complaints regarding the ram management or even the app open up speeds and it even does the android pie kind of animation so i have zero complaints regarding this 
and as you can see switching between apps is pretty cool over here no issues whatsoever and the stock camera over here is the Mi A2's camera as you can see it works fine it does work like super fine everything works even portrait mode selfies or even the like back camera and stuff rear camera everything works with the Mi A2's camera and if you go like open the manual camera let me show you let's test you can use the like google camera and stuff yes you can use them camera api is present by default over here you don't have to do any kind of tweaks for this so that is pretty much great and by the way here is the end to score of this rom now let's open pubg and see the gaming performance of this rom so let me go into the settings of pubg let's go to graphics and from here you will see we can play at balanced and high settings so if i select hd yes you can play on hd so let me select colorful 2 over here and let's start a match quickly so as you can see in this like waiting area the gameplay seems pretty smooth i can look around like super smoothly no issues whatsoever regarding like huge lags or stutters let's go to the match and see So as you can see the gaming performance is pretty good over here in this ROM. I have no complaints regarding the gameplay performance in this ROM and the sound output via the headphone jack is pretty good over here but of course this does not come with the Mi sound enhancer or the audio dirac. So the sound profile over here in this ROM is pretty flat and I like it. I do not have any complaints. So if you want a default EQ in this dot OS, well that's not the case over here as of now. You may expect it like in the future updates, but that's not the case just right now. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.